crafty friends. This is Teresa with Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. I am back today with a design team project for Not Too Shabby Shop. And I want to share that I am using today's Cup of Cheer stamp set and die set. This is the stamp and die of the month. Now, I do want to let you know that this did sell out, but Jamie has reordered more. So, if you want to run right over to Not Too Shabby, the, dis the link will be in the description box down below, and pre-order your set. I know that she, you know, she won't reorder again, so you can pre-order the set, and it's due to come in towards the end of this month. Anyhow, she apologizes for that. She did not by any means realize that this was going to be such a popular set. So anyhow, um, I have used this set today and I used the coordinating dies. I'll explain as I go along. And I used, I colored up my images on the couch watching TV with my husband with my oh hoo hoo markers. And I want to share today, now I'm not using these that are in my hand, I have seven, but I, sometime earlier this year, I was in a, a collab, and it was called um, The Joy of Blue, and I made all of these cards, but did not finish them. I made, I finished some during that month, that month, but did not finish these with some paper that I had in my stash to use up to make blue Christmas cards. So that so I pulled those out and that's what I have used today. Now, I'm going to finish putting these together on camera, but for the most part my image is colored and my sentiment is done and I'm going to talk a little bit about um how I overcame a few things, some mistakes and what I did. So I will go to a voiceover when I do that. Let me know if you have any questions. I will let you know in the voiceover how I decide to bling up my cards and, um, and everything. So um, stay tuned. So for my first card today, I have used the penguin image. And I'm going to keep all my cards pretty flat. I'm not going to pop anything up. I'm going to just add everything flat. So I didn't really have but one mistake on him. When I was colored with my Ohuhu markers, I colored his beak in some oranges and the oranges in the my Ohuhu markers are just crazy, crazy looking oranges. And so I had to pull out um, a different marker and color over top of what I already colored so it wasn't so bright. So anyhow, I decided to finish this off with some Pink and Main white glitter enamel dots. They recently came out with these. I will link those in the description box down below. And then I'm trying to get the last of the Stardust stickles out of this bottle. I used it in a couple other videos, and, and I'm, I'm just trying to use it completely all up. So anyhow, these stars on this little strip were kind of hard, so I just kind of, you know, kind of went all over them and, and, you know, I didn't try to stay within the lines, but it, it'll look good once it dries. And then I took out my white jelly roll pen and added some detail to his hat. So there is card number one. Okay, for card number two, um, I did this little ornament and this one I had quite some boo-boos on this ornament because I didn't stamp it very well. And so I didn't want to, I didn't really realize it until I went to color it that wasn't stamped the best. So I, um, um, so I decided to use some silver stickles to go over those two lines at the top and the little dots so that you can't really, really tell that it wasn't stamped very well. Then I bring in my white jelly roll pen to highlight the eyes. The eyes weren't stamped well either, but once I add the white jelly roll pen to that, it 
it looks okay. And I stamped the sentiment in a Razzle Dazzle um, ink from MFT. Okay, last one, and I missed a little bit of footage there, is the, the cup. And I um, stamped that image to pick up the red and the cupcake and the berries. I stamped that, that image in Wild Cherry MFT ink. And I brought in my white jelly roll pen and I um, did the dots and the eyes on this one. And then I decide, hmm, it just looks a little plain. I needed to do something else after I do the stardust stickles. I forgot that part. So I, I stickled up the berries and the red parts of the candy cane. So I got out um, a tiny little snowflake die that I keep real handy and um, cut four of those out. And I, you know, I know the odd number deal on on cards is more pleasing but I, I I really feel like this that these four snowflakes was enough and it and it did very well so I got out the st snowflake die I s s um, cut those out with some white shimmer paper that I have and then I decided oh they still need something so I got out those white glitter enamel dots again from pink and main, and I added one little enamel dot, the tiniest ones, to the center of every single one of those snowflakes. So that is card number three for today. So, um, and here's a recap of all the cards. So thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>